Hello guys, so here I am at our retreat centre. Now, as well as a sound healer, Reiki therapist, parapsychologist, and a bunch of other names, I'm also very interested in, in um, eco ways of life. And at the retreat centre here in Somerset, in England, um, it's finally built, so we have accommodation for 17 people. We have a number of workshop rooms. We also have a purposely built seance building, which is there, all completely blacked out for trance and physical mediumship. It's putting into the, the natural, modern, sorry, it's the modern ceremonial events that people attend to uh, communicate with spirits and the spirits that are passed over, are passed over loved ones, etc. And with, with that becomes healing, a lot of healing. So here I am at the end of a garden. Uh, the past uh, two or three years I've been collecting fruit trees <laughs> and um, I've got quite a collection now which I'm really happy and proud of and they're growing so I've got a bit of a nursery going on but um, over the last uh, especially the year last year you know they've grown much bigger from from babies obviously it's a big expense a uh, good investment because uh, they will get much bigger once they get into the ground and they're all cold hardy so uh, they can withstand temperatures down to like minus 10 degrees celsius um, some are like four or five so i have things like peach and nectarine fig lemon orange <laughs> pawpaw um, cherries blueberries pineapple guava um, there's there's a lot here um, so I'll show you what I've done recently um, because I work a lot as well at the moment um, I do 14 hour shifts and I'm you know doing as much hours as I can to get the most amount of finances coming in because I've got a lot to look after here at the garden uh, be cutting the trees back because they get ever so big it's all willow um, very fast growing one of the fastest growing trees out there and um, yeah, we love the privacy that it gives in the summer. You know, you get private, complete privacy in the garden, which is very rare to get. But um, in the winter time, it can be very bit dull and boring and grey, which is normal. That's what um, winter is like. But at the moment, we're coming into the spring. We just it's March. Uh, sorry, it's beginning of April. On the cusp of March, April. It's the uh, second of April here, and. Uh, Lucky it's nice and sunny and uh, it's starting to warm up. We've also got lots of um, palm trees which I'm planting as well to give a lot of evergreen in. Like this beast here, I brought this uh, 18 years ago and it was about a foot tall. <laughs> uh, Trachycarcus uh, fortunae, which is here. It's, it's a nice giant, it's, it's going to be the king of the garden and it really brings this exotic feel into the garden, especially when it's warmer and um, people love having a picture taken with it it's great so i've been investing in providing more plants for the garden here at the retreat center so you may be thinking what's this to do with your channel <laughs> um you know kind of like a gong gong healer plants flora, fauna chi energy all comes from plants and the good thing about fruit trees that i've been investing in is that i'm going to get a great return in between maybe two and five years they're going to start producing fruit already the fig trees uh, brown turkey fig trees they are vegan just because it says turkey um, they've started producing some figs but I've cut them off to allow more better growth so I've also been researching more about uh, plants as well um, also here I have a number of uh, jelly palm also known as the pinto palm or Butia cabotata, which is um, like a, a date palm. It's very cold hardy, down to minus nine degrees Celsius. Withstand really um, cold temperatures. So I've got these these here. about ten of those. And they get really big. the The span of that is about two or two and a half, uh, three meters. But because I'm I'm a very busy person, I'm very focused this year. Uh, next 12 months or so 11 12 months in working really hard to generate a lot of finances to look after the gardens here um, go towards my my events and then maybe next year i'm going to start doing a lot more stuff here more workshops and yeah so watch this space hopefully in the meantime 
Um, that's, so if I've been a bit quiet, that's because I've been super busy, you know, working like 65, 70 hours a week, uh, doing a, another job, um, which is a private um, coach and bus company. So I got the license originally to transport people to and from the retreat center so um, I can give them spiritual adventures. That hasn't happened yet, but I got led to that job for two reasons. I wanted that license and the experience, which I've, I've got now. And um, also throughout the whole pandemic, because it's a private company, um, they were building uh, structures in, um, in, in Bridgewater here in Somerset. So there's like uh, Gravity Center Park, etc., um, and other places. Um, which is, isn't where my heart is, but it's given me a lot of experience and I'm in service to people, but I want to continue my, my healing journey. Um, but at the moment it's providing me with the finances to um, plant all these trees. So this is where the money's coming from, which is great. I'm working very, very hard. So anyway, I'll show you what I've done. I've just set up an irrigation system and why I'm talking about work is because I work very long days and I don't have much time when I'm come back home from work. Um, I literally have to come back and water the plants. It takes so much time. You might think that, what's he talking about? But when you walk in, work in 14 hour shifts and you literally have 10 hours between you have to get up and back to work again, um, it doesn't leave you much time in the summer to look after the garden. So I've brought a really cheap hose and I've drilled holes in there, very tiny holes. And literally when you put the hose on, it will uh, then water the plants. So I shall show you now and you can have a quick look so excuse the mess because um, I am busy sorting out the whole garden here um, got some off-grid sort of panels um, so yeah as you can see back there um, so yeah just turn it on and this feeds all the way over there and starts to water all the plants so um, it takes a little while to get here but I'm happy because even it's a little bit of a dribble. Some of them are a little bit faster than others. Um, but yeah, they're giving a good good water. So let's have a big look at the moment. So here we go. These are really big pots. They're about uh, a foot and a half deep. Um, so we've got a lot of fig here. It goes all the way around and it's been watered. All of this, one giant hose and then comes back around again. There we go. So this takes, this saves so much time. I can get on with other things in the garden. Um, so yeah, I have things like apricot. I've got fig, 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 another fig, 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 fig. Um, it's got damson, um, apricot. Uh, some of them I need to label. Another apricot, pear, um, Pear again, cherry, um, another fig, uh, got cherry, I need to put all labors on these, got peach, these are all cold hardy by the way. Um, this is a pawpaw, um, the same as this, this is the uh, Latin name, pawpaw, three litre pot. So yeah, all these holes um, situated and gone in between the handles so they don't move. Um, yeah, they have a little hole here which is um, basically watering everything uh, quite well. I'm quite happy. Um, some of them I'll need to find out what the name is. This might be purple berry. Um, we have another peach, I think. Yeah, another peach. Um, another berry, got another, another cherry. Um, another pawpaw. Oh no, pomegranate. Got uh, red kiwi, another cold hardy, pomegranate, uh, yellow fig, which I'm really happy about, purple guava, which is an evergreen, um, another pawpaw, and uh, honeyberry, really nice one, um, another pawpaw, <laughs> I got six pawpaw, another fig, another purple guava, um, ye another yellow fig, mulberry, and doo -doo -doo, another pawpaw. <laughs> it's quite a lot of pawpaw here. So yeah, I'm I'm happy. A lot of these are cold, cold hardy. Um, yeah, I'm I'm quite happy with the with the process so far. This is going to save me so much time. Just turn on the tap, and it will um, 
irrigate and just water everything as you can see uh, it's a tiny hole but that means the water pressure is then going to be spread out everywhere and i'm really lucky that the, the hose pipe i bought is actually tapered at the end so no water can get out of there i haven't got to deal with that this is also uh, a cold hardy uh, lemon tree i've got three of these and um, also like conquats another citrus so yeah stay tuned and um, maybe this year or next year i'll be planting in the garden i'll show you exactly where i'll be planting these in just a second there's lots of work to do here 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 is once what stood the roundhouse in the gardens workshops and everything but it's the first thing i ever built it was really wide beautiful space but it just started to decompose and i built it well but not well enough and i could have done better so yeah that, that's the that's the situation <laughs> here is one of the biggest um willow trees gi gigantic it's huge so anyway here we go um fruit centers there we have the ponds and and sheds and everything and now all along here is going to be um all the fruit trees all this i need to burn everything has been cut back from all these trees back here um, it's taken a while as you can see all these are being cut now you might think oh no don't cut the trees but to be honest they started falling down and they'll just get more bigger and and out of control so all this we've had a lot of rain recently it's one of the first sunny days we've had um, in the year it's um, getting warmer as well which i'm really happy about so all this is um i've got to burn and i'm going to burn it in burn it in this area because what was here before was like black fawn and bushes um it was just a nightmare and don't realize how much garden we actually have i measured it it's about 13 feet from the border to that edge so that's quite enough space here it's like uh i don't know i didn't can't remember how much i measured um so yeah all along here is where a lot of the fruit trees are going to go um spaced out these are some apple trees so they will be spaced out there almost uh, a little bit closer than what these are to give some spread but yeah it should be nice this is south facing so we have the sun this this direction and um yeah it's gonna be beautiful so i love your standing stone that i uh installed back last year in august still standing strong the the pinnacle of the the center uh, i believe this is where the ley lines come into the property and um is the focus point and not only that that giant uh willow tree there is really strong and i feel that's like an antenna a focus point where the ley line comes in and goes through the property through this standing stone we have two standing stones that come through the property it's our car park and then um this is the secret garden which i've been um dealing with recently we have a nice archway of apple trees um, they're not doing too well, but I love them because they're arching over and giving a nice um, atmospheric uh, ambience here. Um, so we have a walkway, which eventually would I will put a uh, footpath all along here. And it also goes around, but the centre part is this space. So I had a bonfire here a couple of weeks ago and cut everything back. This was really overgrown. It was the bushes were up to here, originally the original border, which you could not see. And uh, so this will be the secret garden eventually. Um, I planted some Serpress leandulae um, back in 2018, and they were like a foot high. So these are doing well. These will create a nice privacy border. And in here, I've planted a lot of uh, yellow raspberry, got rose yellow raspberry um got blueberry more yellow raspberry if you haven't had yellow raspberry i've heard it's uh really really nice golden bliss um more rose so it's a mixture of rose and and raspberry and goji berry uh pink blueberry <laughs> um yeah so i planted all these along the border and uh all this is just crazy thorny 
evil stuff which I need to cut here because it's really spiky and deadly and it's it will just kill anything as you can see up here on this conifer it's just strangling it so I've cut a lot of that off the base but I need to do more but yeah this will be our secret garden um, I'm not sure exactly what will be the fin final part of the space we might get a yurt in here in the future or a big geodesic um, greenhouse dome uh, for workshops which would be really nice um, so I don't know maybe a, a nice big glass dome would be great with like a fire fire pit or fire stove in there but at the moment um, this is the the, fire, the fireplace center I'm gonna put a lot of big logs here from the garden which uh, have because um, people come for workshops love like a fireplace outdoors so this would be a lovely setting and also privacy as well for future uh, installments and then uh, originally we came from this way but we can go around here on the side and uh, again I've, I've been very busy in the garden cut a lot of this back and um, yeah we come back out to the path so eventually I'll like to join this path and uh, complete it around back into the uh, secret garden so yeah I hope you've enjoyed the little tour of uh, the treat centre. There's a lot to do here. It's a big space and I guess we didn't realise what we were getting ourselves into as a family. Uh, as myself, my mum, my dad and my uncle that live here and soon to be there'll be a couple of friends as well who want to create a small mediumistic uh, community here which is going to be really thriving in a, in a few years time, within a few years time. Um, but at the moment I'm doing a lot of groundworks out here, tidying up the gardens and it's a lot because things grow and I haven't looked after the space properly. I haven't cut things back for a long while. So things have just gone crazy and overgrown. So I thought I'd document this uh, journey here in the garden. Uh, there's, there's a lot to do, but it's coming together nicely. And um, yeah, I, I guess uh, something back to look on, like a diary, like, oh, wow, how much have I done? So until next time, thanks for um, watching, if you got this far. Um, I do have a GoFundMe page, which we're trying to expand and do things to the retreat center. So if you'd like to support us, I'll put the GoFundMe link down below. Um, we have big plans to expand the retreat center even more, more accommodation. And also in the future, um, I'm really looking outwardly towards the future of the retreat center because it's a big space and people who come here love the energy got ley lines everywhere it's just really quiet i mean if you just listen to the birds and that's it it's just the odd tractor going past now and then but it's a complete contrast to uh, cities like london and bristol and uh, where people really want to escape so the idea would be because the roundhouse a, if um, spot doesn't really get used much anymore it, it didn't for a, a few years so I want to put a few eco pods there instead where people can come and stay help out on the land it'd be like cooking cleaning making beds doing gardening uh, cleaning windows all year round and you know we allow people to stay here for free in exchange of four or five hours of work every day and uh, a lot of retreat centers around the world do that uh, it's like Findhorn, uh, ashrams around the world do exactly the same thing uh, but it's a lovely place to be um, so if you love the idea if you love to support us everything that i do i'm i'm trying to leave a good green footprint for the future a great legacy for people to um, enjoy this isn't about me <laughs> this isn't about what i want i i know what people need and want and they want to feel safe and the good thing about fruit trees as well planting all these different types of fruit trees is quite a lot I, I planted already and uh, I've did some if you look at this chart now um, you'll see that from around June to December time there's a high peak of um, propagation of getting uh, fruit return so um, yeah there'll be a quiet periods of the month like six months of the year where it's winter where it's not so much return on fruits but um, the rest is going to be really abundant in um, in in fruits to pick so I'm, I'm a vegan myself I love fruit great it's even better when you can eat off the land 
and why I chose fruit rather than vegetables. I probably will end up doing vegetables in the future. But the good thing about fruit trees is you can just plant them and almost leave them. You just need to prune them once or twice a year. Sorry, once a year or every couple of years. Prune them back so they uh, give more uh, girth and grow like a bigger spread and grow bigger fruit. Um, but other than that, it doesn't take too much maintenance. You don't have to dig them up and replant them every year. They're um, annual uh, flowering um and you know fruiting every year should be and yeah there's a good thing about it being every year in the spring they produce beautiful flowers and fragrance and it's going to be abundant here rather than having just hundreds of willow which is it's great but um yeah you know we don't get anything back from them apart from a bit of shade <laughs> and leaves and a lot of fluff which can be very annoying um, there's so much willow trees here that in the summer time, the peak, where all the fluff from the willow, I think they call it willow down, it's like, it's, um, it's like cotton, it, it spreads everywhere, it can clog up your drain pipes, your car gutters, and it will just layer the floor like snow, um, so it can be quite evil, and if you're walking out you can get choked a little bit, but um, we're trying to cut back, a, you know, a quite a lot of the willow trees not cut them all down we want some privacy but um, eventually some of them will be cut back and down especially at the at the north here which will block a lot of sunlight coming in so there's lots of plants here you know um, so you want to build them out three or four like eco pods for people to come and stay extra accommodation for people and um, yeah it's, it's gonna be a great community but at the moment it's, it's the gardens a bit of a mess uh, I'm working on it um, twice or two days a week at currently uh, so there's a lot to do so um, yeah stay tuned to this and perhaps I'll look back on this and in a few years time and think wow done so much <laughs> so until next time thanks for watching uh, stay safe and um, I'll speak to you in another video take care bye